Do you guys remember the good old days of GTA and entering all those cheat codes to get like infinite ammo? Well, this is kind of the same, but for eBay. Okay, it's not quite butt mashing like we used to do on the old PS2, but this video is all about using tools to grow your eBay business. So it feels like you're using a few cheat codes. Let's get into it. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be talking about some tools that have really helped our business in the last couple of months. Now you might remember when we went to Retail Fest, we talked a little bit about some stuff that we're gonna start implementing into our business to see how it worked. And it's been a couple of months now and things have been going really well. So we are gonna share those with you and we're also gonna talk about an upcoming tool that we think is gonna change the reselling game. I'm gonna go and pick some orders right now and then we'll get into the first of those which is a shipping tool. That's the main store. And just a couple for the DVD store. And finally, a couple items for trash to travel. All right, the first program or tool that I'm gonna talk about is actually a shipping platform. You guys might remember when we were over in the Gold Coast at Retail Fest, we talked about trying to use a shipping platform. We actually spoke to uh, another platform when we were over there. But since coming back, we've actually implemented some changes and we are using a program right now called Ready to Ship. I do wanna say before I get too far into this that we are currently not sponsored by any of these platforms, but I'd be happy if they reached out because they have saved us a whole bunch of time and I think these guys could save you a bunch of time as well. The great thing about Ready to Ship is that I can actually import both of our eBay stores into the one page so I can see our total orders across the one page rather than jumping between my post business stores, logging in, logging out, it's all on the one page, which is fantastic. I will jump across to some footage where I actually show you how to use this platform so you guys get an idea. So as I mentioned, the great thing about Ready to Ship is all of your orders are going to be in the same place. So you can see here, I have 31 items at the moment and I've actually been able to set all of these to small. Obviously that's not always gonna be the case, but probably 85% of our items go on small satchels. So that saves me a bunch of time clicking around and making all these different changes. Essentially, I've got all these orders all on the one screen. I will say when labeling these packages at first, I found them a little bit different to my post business because you can't really change the reference. So what I've done is I've actually set mine to order number and I've put the order number and also the person's name on the actual parcel right here. That is super hard to see. But essentially when I print out the label from ready to ship, it'll come out with this number as the reference and then I just check the name and slap it on and then I know that this is the right parcel. I will say that it took me probably a week or two to understand how the platform works, but once I understood how it works, it has become so much simpler. Now, obviously all of these things come with a little bit of a cost associated with it, but once I did the numbers of working out how much time this is saving us and how much it's costing us per month, it was definitely worth grabbing on this. I will say the other caveat to this is you do have to have an eBay store to link up with ready to ship. You can't just be like a private seller I did try to sync up our Trash and Travel, which is just a private store at this point in time, and it wouldn't do it. So if you don't have a store, then I probably wouldn't recommend using these platforms because it won't actually sync up. But if you have a store and you are selling quite a lot of items every single day, this program has been fantastic for us. And I think you guys should really look into something like this. There are, are a couple of other platforms out there, very similar to this one. There's stuff like Starship It, which I know a few people use. The reason I went with Ready to Ship is because I actually got an Amex credit card, which I'm using to stack up some points, which is gonna go to something pretty awesome in the future, I think. So that's been pretty fun. Um, I will leave a link in the description below for the Amex card, which is tied to Qantas points. Now, I wouldn't recommend just jumping on that. Do your research, make sure that you are actually going to be benefiting from using a credit card and make sure you're paying that bill off as soon as possible because you don't want that stacking up in the background. Not financial advice, just something we've been using to stack some Qantas points for our future. Just quickly, if you are going to grab an Amex card, know that Amex isn't accepted in many places. I'm currently using it with PayPal to link up through to my post business. It took me a little bit of time working out how to do that. If you want some help with that at all, reach out and I'll try and run through it for you. But essentially, the way that Amex is set up, you can't use it directly on my post business. You need to set it up through your PayPal. And the great thing with Ready to Ship is they do offer a month free trial. So you just sign up using your email and you get a month to try it out, which has been great for us. It took me a couple of weeks to understand exactly how it works. So I think it's good to try it out for a month, see if it's gonna work for you. And then you've pretty much had 30 days of testing it, understanding it, adjusting your processes and then I think it becomes really smooth and it does save you a bunch of time. All right guys, I have finished postage. I'm just gonna pack this up, but I will speak to you as I'm going through this. 
The next service I wanted to talk about was hiring a VA, which is essentially a virtual assistant, somebody that works remotely for your business, and we've actually hired one through Upwork. I think the great thing about hiring a VA is that you can kind of tailor what you want your VA to do, and eBay has functionality within their system for you to give them whatever permissions you want. So if you want them to just draft things for you and not see anything else, then you can set that up within Access and allow them to only draft items. But if you want them to go further ahead and adjust items or even list items for you, that is something you can do as well. So as I just said, we hired someone through Upwork. Now the great thing with Upwork is you can actually search for what you're looking for and it's actually super cheap to hire a VA. Now we essentially just did a quick search on uh, Upwork for an eBay lister. We went through and had a look at the profiles of the people that were offering that service. And then we also looked at price, which I will get into very shortly because I think that's a big key. So as we searched through, I was able to look at previous work done by this person that we ended up hiring and they had done clothing and shoes before, which was fantastic. So we reached out to them, offered them a, a rate that they had kind of preset as something that they were happy to accept, which ended up being 10 AUD an hour. Everything on Upwork is in USD, so just make sure you do that conversion before you sign anyone up. And essentially this person has been listing about eight to 10 items an hour for us. So I'm gonna average that out at about $1.25 per listing, which is so, so good. I will say that with Upwork, you do have to do a little bit of back and forth to train them up to how you would like them to, but that literally took us about a week with this person. So I'm not saying that every VA is gonna be as good as the one we managed to find, but if you spend a little bit of time doing a bit of research and communicating with them, I definitely think it's a great option. So essentially the way we're managing that at the moment is myself, I am doing all the postage and Jazz is doing all the photos which end up going to our VA through a drop box. So let's just head upstairs and see what Jazz thinks of our VA. Do you have an appointment? I just wanted to talk to you about our VA. Here's a little microphone for you. So I was just telling you guys how we've just hired someone from Upwork and yeah, we have. that essentially you're taking photos, we're uploading them to a Dropbox and then they're getting drafted. How have you found that process so far? Amazing, incredible, almost seamless. All I'm doing is taking the pictures and making sure all the information is visible and then they're able to pull all of the information they need from overseas. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how effective it has been for us. I think initially we were pretty nervous about giving yeah. someone like ownership of our business in a sense. But the great thing about it is we can just get her to draft it and check all the drafts. So she's actually doing a lot of item specifics for us. Mm -hmm. um, she's entering the custom SKU because we're including that in the photo. Mm -hmm. Thinks of keywords that we hadn't thought of because when you hand over, you kind of think <laughs> maybe this person will do it like 80% as good as I do, but we're surprised because this person already has experience that they are really methodical and they have so much attention to detail. Yeah, it's been fantastic. And realistically, all we're going back in there and doing is changing the price, yeah. deleting the SKU photo because we don't need that anymore. Except that one time I forgot, <laughs> whoopsie. Um, and then essentially just sending the listing live. There have been a few things that they haven't really picked up on like Australian Football League AFL stock, but that's, I could kind of understand <laughs> that. They're actually in the Philippines, so understanding Australian sports is probably a little bit outside their realm, but I will say what they have been doing is using Google Images a lot to yes. kind of find things that they weren't aware of. So I'm very happy with how that's been going. And instead of you sitting there at a desk using your time during the day to make all of those drafts, we're just tweaking at night, which means you're freed up to do all sorts of other things. Yeah, which I guess is something I can talk about right now. So uh, essentially Upwork has been great for this, as I said. I'm gonna go downstairs before I fall. See ya. So I think the great thing about Upwork is that you can actually track the time that's been spent on your listing. So you can kind of go in and check like that the person has been working. If you don't sort of trust it, you can kind of see how many minutes they've been working in a 10 minute block. It even gives you screenshots of what they've been working on. But once you started getting in a groove, I haven't been checking that because the listing's going up, they're getting done pretty quickly. As I said, between eight and 10 an hour, which is pretty fair. I'm not suggesting that everyone's gonna be able to do that, but for the $10 that we're paying per hour for this person to list, an average of $1.25 per listing is amazing. I'm very happy with that. I'm happy with the quality of the work. I'm happy with how 
Upwork gives you information. Essentially, they just charge you your credit card once a week for the hours that they worked the week before. You can set limits on how much you want the person to work. You can even offer per item value listing if you want to do that. Like you can say, I'll pay you $1.20 per listing, I'll pay you $1.50 per listing. So Upwork for us has been great. I know there are some other platforms out there offering this. I know Chris Furlong has just opened up a service. So that might be something you guys want to look into as well. I will say that Upwork is a dedicated platform for this. So it does have a lot of tools and information and messaging services direct to the VA. So if they have a problem or you need to question something, it's quite easy to get in contact with them. So I definitely recommend if you're struggling with your listings or even you want to change the stuff in your store and you don't have the time to look at getting a virtual assistant, whatever platform you want to use, I think it's a great investment. And the next tool that I think is not only changing the game now but will continue to change the game ongoing is AI. I'm using ChatGPT for a few things like creating workflows and documents and stuff like that but I think the next step is going to be listing and cross-listing tool and we've actually been reached out to by a company called Shopfront who are just about to launch this type of service in the Australian market which is super cool. So I've actually looked into their product, we had a one-on-one -on -one chat with them and I'm super excited for what they're about to build. So they've actually given us a link for people to do like a pre-sign up because they're looking for people to test it out, make sure it's working over the next sort of three to six months but I think this is seriously gonna be the future. The AI tool is essentially going to remove backgrounds for you so you don't have to worry about any of that sort of stuff. It'll look crispy. It's gonna be able to do some cross-listing and tagging and update of item information, which is crazy. So I'm super excited for what Shopfront are gonna to bring to the market over the next few months. So as I said below, sign up to their waitlist and over the next sort of three to six months, they will be approaching a lot of sellers in the Australian market to test out this product so that they can continue to develop it and make it better. I think the thing I am so excited about from Shopfront is the cross-listing tool. I know there isn't a huge amount of platforms here in Australia anymore, but I think that going forward, this will be a great tool, especially for people that are selling on multiple platforms. I think Shopfront is gonna be the future of AI integration, especially within Australia. They're going to be making a tool that delists items when they sell on a platform. So it scrapes these platforms every minute to see if sales have occurred. So you don't essentially double up on a sale that you only got one item for. So as I said, sign up below for their wait list and over the next three to six months, I'm sure they'll be reaching out to a bunch of people in the Australian community to build the best AI product that they possibly can. I do know that there are plenty of other people working on some AI tools and have parts of this, which I'm super excited as well. But I think for me, Shopfront and the AI component of that, especially that cross-listing part, is gonna be a game changer. As I said, guys, we are currently not sponsored by any of these companies. This is just information that I think is going to help you guys improve your business as you start to scale. Because I think that is one of the biggest challenges when you start scaling is like, how do I get everything as smooth as possible, set up those processes to save myself time? because time is money, guys. And as I say that, I wanna thank you for spending some time with us today, and we will see you next time on Toilet Thrifters. Bye for now.